it's your grand guys welcome back to detroit become human episode five with me cxc in this episode we're going to be jumping in and continuing the story from the exact same position that we left off in the previous episode new episodes on here every six days new video on the channel every other day make sure to subscribe to stay updated but yeah we're going to be jumping in either way Okay, so yeah, we're back playing as Marcus. We were introduced to this character in episode two, I believe. And I think he's got like a master. I think he works for someone. Obviously he's an android, so he's been brought out to perform like household tasks. But yeah, it's quite a slow intro so far, but there's obviously a lot to be introduced to there's a lot of backstory and stuff to help you understand the characters and their situations before they act plus i'm dragging it out i'm just trying to have a look around at everything it doesn't help that i don't have a clue where we've got to go i think we've got to go down there that's a complete guess Let's go and have a look down there, either way, see what's going on. Very nice looking game, like, the graphics on this are pretty impressive, especially for a PS4 game that was released in 2018. These graphics are very impressive. Then again, I think Heavy Rain graphics were pretty impressive. I'd like to play Heavy Rain on the channel as well. At some point, maybe like a mini-series. Because that's another game that's really enjoyable. Okay, so let's see where we've got to go. Okay, so I think we've got to prepare a meal or something. So let's take this up to Carl. So the character's name's Marcus. The guy who he works for is called Carl. I don't know why I'm explaining the backstory, to be honest. Most of the viewers that are watching, like, judging from comments and stuff, they've already played the game. I think people are just watching to see how someone else reacts to certain situations. I hope this is enjoyable, I know I'm really dragging it out. I'm not doing it on purpose, I'm just trying to have a look around at everything. I don't want to miss anything. Not sure if you guys want to read like the comics and stuff obviously you can all the magazines you can obviously just pause the videos if you want to but i'm not going to be like reading them out or anything so yeah the way i'm uh, laying out the series each episode is going to be dedicated to each character's day so as one character's day ends the next episode will be another character's day beginning so I think we're setting up the workshop for Carl. Alright, they're the paints that we bought back in episode 2. It's episode 2 or 3, I just can't remember which order it was. So this place looks pretty set up to me. I guess we can clean up this stuff. I 
right, so now we've got to make our way up to Carl. From what I can tell, we've pretty much had a good look at everything. Yeah, let's go upstairs to try and find Carl's room. I could skip all this out to be honest, but I don't know, I think it's one of them games where you've just got to keep everything in. I really like these slow sections in games to be honest. Uh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. Mm. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Television.
take up position in the barren sea sincerity, and a Russian flag now flies over the ice. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Mm, sure. Mm. Okay, Carl. The American ambassador again informed the emergency meeting of the UN that the United States would not accept this annexation under any circumstances. Several American destroyers are reported to be headed for the Barren Sea. Douglas Cornwall, chairman of the UN, announced in a press conference that we have never been so close to a third world Russia and the United States to promptly renew talks before things get out of control. What are you reading? Plato's Republic. It's one of the books you recommended. So, what do you think? I quite like philosophy, I think. It asks the questions that I can't answer. You know, what is right or what is wrong, for example. It's not something that is so easy to decide. Asking questions that have no answers is part of being human, Marcus. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. Make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Okay, so yeah, that's a lot of talking. I didn't want to talk over anything, so just in case, I kept quiet then. Even at times when I thought they were done speaking and I was about to speak, they'd come out with something. See, I think it was just best to buy my tongue on that one. I don't want to ruin any of the exposition or anything, especially on such a story-driven game. Okay, so yeah, we're watching Carl paint. Obviously, I didn't realise at first that he was in a wheelchair. So he's got some pretty cool tech to help him get around. Like the stair lift was cool, and this is pretty cool as well. To be honest, that's better than a ladder. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Mm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> he wants us to have a go at painting. So we're going to take the paints. Hopefully we're decent. Especially if these paints cost a lot of money. Don't want to waste the paint. So what do we paint? We're going to paint the desk. And see what he thinks of it.
That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Okay, so he's not happy with it. He wants us to paint from the heart. Even though we haven't got a heart, we're a robot. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. This is robot. These are its best. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah. Yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. That's actually going to do it for me. Make sure to join me in six days' time for episode six. If you don't want to wait till then, there's a new video, not tomorrow, but the next day, which will be Assassin's Creed Valhalla episode 30. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.